In today's Madden 21 tip breakdown, I'm going to be teaching you a play, a simple concept that I really think will help take your Madden game to the next level. It's under center passing concept today, and we're talking about the Salem concept from the single back wide trips. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my name is Cody, and basically what I do here is I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos, and I share them with you for free online. We do about four of these videos a day where I break down some type of route combo or something that caught my attention. And this one really did catch my attention, especially with the way that out routes work uh, really, really well. So I want to dive into this. This is the Salem concept out of the single back Y trips in the Los Angeles Rams playbook. Now, what I would recommend is having your best wide receiver on the left side, your second best receiver on the right side, your fastest tight end you could possibly have. And then in the middle, uh, we're just going to go with the fast guy right there. So the play is uh, Salem. And we are just going to come out in some random defenses. Now, if you have not already subscribed, I would encourage you to do that. Like I said, we post every single day here on our YouTube channel. We posted every single day Madden content for the last um, three to four months. And it has been absolutely awesome to see how it has both helped me grow as a Madden player and I think helped my community uh, continue to get better as we are all trying to get better at this game. So first and foremost, we're going to go over man-to-man -man coverage. But if you want to get those daily tips, I'd highly encourage you to click that subscribe button. All right, so man-to-man -man coverage, the first thing I want to show you is this little this little flip route to the back is so effective. It's basically a quick pass throw that you could utilize. And what you'll find is oftentimes they're not going to cover him. This is going to be a very, very good little quick throw uh, against man-to-man, -man, as you can see right there. The next read on this is this route to Devontae Adams. Now, what you'll see is you can smart route this route, so it's going to go a little bit shallower, but it's basically a quicker, tighter cut of a C route, and that's why I like it so much. It's a sharper version of the route. Now, I would still recommend you have someone that has route technician on it like Devontae Adams. Real quick, I want to flip the play and show you what it looks like when he's going, when the cornerback actually has a significant advantage. Um, so we're going to have Alexander covering Marquez Vadas scantling here, and what you're going to see is when he cuts to the outside, um, he still is able to beat man. He's just not quite as effective. We'll show you that one more time. Um, also, guys, if you have not joined my texting membership, it's completely free to do that. All you have to do to join is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description, and it's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But that will be able to sign you up. And we do tips and uh, strategies that are a little bit more high-level, a little bit more in-depth, almost like mini ebooks basically um but we do those every single week they come out once a week so we don't over i try not to overdo it but we do it like i said about once a week so if you want to get access to those videos just go ahead and click um or um, i'm not click uh just go ahead and pull your phone out and shoot me a text all right so let's talk about the other routes but you see that that route's a powerful route i mean it's it's even more powerful if you have like a Devonte adams running it because it's just it's just not gonna get beat for the most part so this left side is really good. And that's why I say if you have like a Devontae Adams, someone with a, a route ability, like a route technician or slotomatic even, uh, I would highly recommend 90 plus deep route running. But what you'll see is it gets even more open if you have those uh, route capabilities. The next route I want to show you is this route to the tight end. Because it's angled as it is, if they aren't shading their coverage over the top, you see that it can basically be an inside pass lead against man-to-man -man coverage. So if if I'm shading, even if I do shade over top, if he has that inside position, you can basically cut the streak off against man-to-man, -man, which I think that's pretty cool and pretty effective, especially from this wide trips formation. The uh, R1 route. Um, he does beat it. He's not on a, He's he's on a little bit of a different level of a hitch route. The only thing that I would recommend you do is I would basically um, I would basically mess around with kind of motioning him. If you want to motion him right to left, what you'll see is if you get him in motion, um, this will sometimes get him even more open. But all in all, he's going to be just fine. You really don't need to make any adjustments to this play whatsoever, actually, which is kind of cool. Um, and what's really cool is like against cover, if you're running like cover two man. That corner, um, that corner on the right there, that was guard, that's guarding the fullback, or I'm not the fullback, the tight end. He is like 93 speed, so you're seeing this 85 speed guy is getting open against this guy with like 90 plus speed. You see that I can basically 
op pass lead him open against the meta coverage. So, for example, and I'm just going to back the coverage off here just to show you this. And this is going to work even better in mud if you have like a Darren Waller or someone like that. These under center like doubles and trips formations are really, really effective this year, especially with how good the running game is. But basically what you can do is if they if they kind of fall asleep and maybe they try to go cover say a scant lean or they try to go get the out route or whatever what you'll see with Robert Tonyan is if i just pass lead him basically pass leading him to the left he's going to torch his man even when they shade coverage over um even when they shade coverage outside and over top he's still going to get wide open because he's got that nice little angled streak so literally just lob it up click on and and right there i got to i got to lob it to the left side but but basically what's going to happen is you're you're going to torch man to man um especially if they try to press so like if if they if they don't shade coverage over top they're literally going to be destroyed on this play um if they do shade coverage over top you're still going to have a pretty good shot here um you can just throw it to the left side and uh and kind of get it in in a position that you can actually make something happen i recommend throwing it like right there if you throw it right there that's the best point to throw it because the defense has had limited amount of time to be able to react to the ball. And so that's going to be able to get more open if you do it that way. So you'll see right here, um, like if they don't, if they're not paying attention, you can really torch them over the top. And again, that, that guy that I think that guy that's covering that tight end is 93 speed. Um, and then the in route to Marquez Valdez scantling. This is one of my favorite routes in the game. Um, it's a route that I, I think we all need to run more of honestly. Um, but basically it's a, um, it's a route that beats one step ahead. It's a it's a route that beats pretty much any kind of man to man coverage that you're going to face. This route's going to beat it as long as you have time in the pocket. Most of the time, you're going to basically just pass lead this to the left, and you're going to be able to get it. Now you can throw it at multiple points. That's something that people don't realize. So like, what I could do is I could throw it right there, and it's going to turn it into almost like a post route or a slant route. And then I can when he wraps around. Um, you see that he's going to do that little quick cut for the post, and then he's going to basically turn it into an in route. So right here, I can throw it like a post route. Now, you know, it's not always going to be there. You need to practice this a little bit to get the timing down. But what you'll see is right there, he kind of, he kind of because Jair Alexander is so good, he can kind of get there. But on that second cut, what you'll see is he'll roast him. So like right there, and then he'll go there. And on that second cut, that's where you see he can beat man to man. Now, if you're running with like, like I said, if you're running with Devontae Adams, maybe, or someone that has a little bit better route running on that on that uh, route, what you'll see happen here is right there. Um, whoops! As long as I don't throw it into my guy, I think I accidentally lowballed it. Um, but right, right there, basically, what you could do, you see how he's got that little divot right there at the 35 yard line. It's almost like a little inverted post. So literally, I'm just going to throw it right there. And there you see what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. That's where I'm saying you can beat that as a post or it could be as a as an in route, which is effective specifically for zone. And we'll get into that in just a second. I want to show it to you one more time. So literally just drop back, throw it right there. And you see how that, see how that works. The reason that's important is because against zone coverage, you're going to have different points at which that route's going to come open. Now, everything else on the side is is really effective. You see that running back route is still really effective against zone coverage. They're going to really have to play some underneath zone to be able to stop uh, this route. I mean, it's it's going to be effective for you. It's just going to be a yard gainer, honestly. And I would look that way just to kind of see if it's open. But from there, um, the route to Devontae Adams, you'll see that that route actually does pretty good against Tampa 2. Uh, we'll show you that right here. Um, let's see here. So we'll show you this. This this gets pretty open against Tampa 2. Basically, just pass lead it up. And as you can see right there, it's going to get open. Now, if they drop their flats back to like 50 yards or, you know, do something like that, it may not get open. But for the most part, um, for the most part, that route is there for you. Um, you see on cover three, it's not quite the same story. Um, the purples are going to do a little bit better of a job against it. But what you can do uh, with this like if they're running purples on you, um, you see here I can I can still get that in there. The good old under center pressure and accurates are hilarious, but uh, but anyway, uh, and then you still have your streak, and then like I said, you have this in route. So we'll show you the in route against zone coverage. 
We do have our fantasy draft tonight as well. Um, if you guys want to tune in, we'll be streaming it at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern tonight. It's a little bit earlier than normal. But what you'll see, oh, man, Zadarius Smith is just blowing us up. But And also, if you want to join the league, you can just text me. I do have a few spots left. But what you'll see on this, if I throw this right there, you see basically depending on the zone, they're going to react differently. And so you want to kind of test this uh, against different zone coverages. But Valdez Scantling's route is really going to stretch the defense. As you see here, it's going to come open. It's just a matter of when. So some defenses, it's going to come open early. Some defense, if it's going to come open late, it just honestly depends. So, like, if they run cover four, this is an example of when this should come open uh, a little bit late, as you can see right there. And part of this has to do with how far the hook zones are dropping back. If they start coming underneath with their hook curls and they're trying to get their hook curls to stop, like, hitch routes, basically, like, if it sits on the hitch, you can throw it in behind it. That's what, you know, and that's that quick read. That's that quick point of of, of looking uh, at it. And then as you can see here, this route is just, you know, if they fall asleep, which I'm telling you with this play, they will, um, you'll find that you're going to get a lot of, you'll, you'll hit this route a lot over the top. You see that Tampa 2 kind of just avoids it. It doesn't guard it. Uh, the middle read out of Tampa 2 does not guard the tight end route. So you can basically just literally, if they run Tampa 2, like this play torches Tampa too. But what you'll see here is you can just pass later right up the seam, and you're going to have a, a pretty decent gain against that Tampa 2 defense. Now against cover 3, I did want to show you something here real quickly. So uh, against cover 3, you can basically kind of pass lead him open, as you can see right there. I can pass lead to the right. If the cover 3 is from the other side, so like if the safety is, if the safety is coming from right to left, what you'll see with this cover 3 is you can almost turn this into a post route, um, right there, it doesn't work quite out work out that well for me, but you can um, to some extent you could turn this into a into essentially an over route. The uh, it just depends on how how that corner on that left side works. And if you take the corner, if you take the the if you take the route on the le on the left, and you just turn it into a standard out route, this will make this a little bit more effective. So you'll see right here. See how that cover. See how he hangs on him. You can basically pass like this to the left, and, and you could sometimes basically get a cover three bomb out of it. But, you know, it's it's okay. I would just leave it on, on what he's on here and then just work these underneath routes. You see that hitch route is going to be consistent. And for the most part, like I said, you're going to basically be able to beat, um, you know, able to beat the yellows with the hitches. But like right in here, that's where an example where if the hitch, if they sit on the hitch route, then you're going to throw him behind it and hit that hit that quick read to Marquez Vada Scantling as he cuts across the middle of the field. So that's Jet 60 Sword, or not Jet 60 Sword, that's, um, gosh, I don't even remember what this play was called. Uh, Salem, that's Salem. But that's that's the Salem concept. Very, very simple, very, very straightforward. If you guys want to join the Discord, we have some great people in there that have, uh, I think one of my buddies, Bernie, in there has some really, really good material from single back wide trips and goes over, uh, I think, a whole scheme about it and really how to leverage it and how to work it in Madden. But as you can see, I mean, and this is what I'm getting at with that route. If they if they are playing their hook curls and at five yards, which a lot of people do, um, I'm, I'm one of them that will probably do that until you do something like this to me. This route, this Salem concept, this route, you're seeing that basically if those if they sit down on that hitch, you can throw that in behind it as almost like a post route. That's what I'm trying to get at. And you could do it against cover two. You could do it against cover four. You could do it against cover three. It really doesn't matter what they're doing. You, when you have a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, you can put the ball in those very special places on the field. So I just want to encourage you with that and uh, encourage you to keep working on this. This is a really, really good formation. It's a lot you can do. I'm going to have another play that I'm going to show you here uh, in a little bit that's going to basically take the top off the defense. This is this is what I would consider a yard gainer. You know, this is this is a play that you're going to call and you're going to be like, you know what, I am, I'm just trying to move the ball down the field. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to move down, move the ball down the field, and so I just need plays that are going to get open consistently. What we're going to show you in a little bit is a play that's going to get wide open if they start doing certain things, and we're going to talk about exactly you know what they could do 
that's going to make this viable. So be sure to subscribe so that you can get access to that video. It's going to be coming in probably an hour or two. And then make sure you're in the Discord. If you haven't already jumped in that, that link's in the description. And our stream will start at 9 o'clock. If you're interested in the CFM, let me know. It's a $10 entry free. And then there is cash prizes for the winner. Just shoot me a text. Let me know if you want to be in the text membership or if you want to join the CFM. Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope this video was helpful. And I hope you saw how this play really can be a very phenomenal yard gainer for you.